Hi everybody, welcome to the Makeup Chair. Today I want to show you how I style my hair. A lot of you wanted a demonstration video, so just keep watching. So I'm a little off center because I want to show you how I use this, and I'm going to be doing a lot of this. So I'm slightly lower than normal, so I do apologize if it looks a little bit strange. I've already um, kind of washed my hair and stuff in the shower. It's damp. It's not soaking wet. It's not wet. It's damp. And a lot of it is actually kind of drying already. I've already put in my styling products. I have used, first of all, my heat defense, which is the Tresemme Heat Defense Smooth. Then I also have my products for adding body. So I have my 24 hour body blow dry lotion. Looks like this. And it's just a really simple spray in the hair and then this is the 24 hour root boosting spray and this basically you lift you spray right at the roots you rub it in and you just kind of lift right at the roots because my hair is very flat and just because my hair was lacking a little bit of smoothness I decided to use the three days straight from, from um, John Frieda or yeah John Frieda and he's, he has these kind of frizzies kind of products which I love this one's one of my favorites three days straight it goes on really smooth it conditions your hair um, you put it on damp hair and you blow dry it and you straighten it, it protects the hair leaves it really really super soft if you have curly hair um, wavy hair and you find it really hard to straighten it try using that. So I'm going to take my Babyliss Big Hair and because it's going to be on I'm probably going to have some kind of subtitles or something coming up telling you if I say anything just in case you miss it it's really really easy to use it has two buttons here, one goes one way, one goes the other, and that's so if you're doing this side, you kind of hold this one here, and if you're doing the other side, you're going to hold that button there. It also has the um, cool setting, which I think is kind of ridiculous because it doesn't do anything on a cool setting other than just blow out cool air, and it doesn't really do anything. And then you also have a kind of medium setting and a high setting. Medium setting is a medium heat and a medium speed. And then the high setting is high speed and high heat. So I try to keep it as low as possible. So I'm going to section off my hair into two sections. So I'm going to have a top and a bottom. Don't have to do this, totally optional, but I just like to do it. I'm going to give it a quick brush through using this type of um, detangler, which is actually used for wet hair. Now you can buy these for like 150 in pennies, so the really expensive ones can go up to about 15 euro to 20 euro. So don't buy the really expensive ones, these work really nice. And it's a nice little heart shape, slots in like this and you just comb through your hair. Just prevents too much breaking. Now I'm going to section my hair into three sections, so there's going to be this side section here. There's going to be a back section, which you guys can't see, and then there's going to be another side section, because what I don't want to do is to take this hair at the back round to the front, because I'm going to get a kind of weird shape at the back of my head. So let's get started. So what I tend to do is I tend to put it in midsection, allow the brush to rotate around while I bring it down, and then I'm going to rotate it all the way up. All the time the brush is going to be spinning, and then once I get up to the top, I'm going to leave it there for a few seconds just to allow the heat to kind of get to the roots of it, and it's going to lift it and give it a little bit more volume and bounce. When I'm pulling it out, I actually don't have the brush rotating. I stop pressing the button, and then I can just pull it through so that you don't end up kind of detangling it or tangling it up, I mean. Um, so you just have a nice smoothness. So once you brought it up to the top, just take your hand off the button and just let it fall down again. But you'd, what you don't want to do is just keep rotating and rotating it because you can get your hair tangled in it. Now, depending on the way that you rotate the brush is going to depend on the way that the hair falls. So because I've been rotating it inwards, the hair is going to fall like it's being flicked in this way. If you want to have the other way, you can just flick it outwards by rotating up this way. So it kind of depends on the way you do it. So I'm going to switch hands. I'm going to go the opposite way by pressing the opposite button so it's rotating in again. So I want to get the same shape on both sides. Now you can go underneath here and rotate it that way but you will get a slightly different kind of style so I tend to switch hands and it's very easy to switch hands because you don't have to have any kind of you know left hand right hand preference or anything it does work for both hands So 
So now I have these two sections done, I'm going to move on to the back one. When I'm doing the back one, I'm going to pull the hair straight out, rotate it and bring it right up to the root, just the same way that I did it on each side. So now I'm going to move on to my favourite bit, which is doing the top section. I do um, use it on the bottom section, but I don't like it as much. I find that my styling is a lot better on the top sections because the hair is shorter and it's a little bit easier to style. So I'm going to brush through my hair again. And I usually do some kind of a parting. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing as I did with the underneath parts. I'm going to bring it all the way up, I'm going to leave it there for a few seconds and then bring it back down again. I just do this continuously until the hair is pretty much dry. But after one go it usually is dry and you only leave it there for about 30 seconds, if that, maybe even 10 to 15 seconds. I like to usually lift it right up here so that the um, roots are really kind of volumized and brought up to be kind of bouncy so that when it falls it's still got a little bit of lift in it. So I want to add a little bit more volume to the back of my hair. I have a very kind of prominent long kind of crease line in, the, in between. So what I usually do is make sure that I bring the hair up like this and all the way back so that I kind of cut it a little bit shorter and add some volume to the back of the hair. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go on to my bangs, which are this whole section here. I have a very annoying kind of bang kind of thing going on. Sometimes they lie the way I want them to be, sometimes they don't. I tend to just have to keep working with them to get the kind of look that's half decent because it's just very annoying. So I'm kind of going to go in one direction, then the other, then the other, then back and forth like this until I get the volume that I want at the roots and also to see which way they're going to fall. Now if you had a full fringe, this is awesome for full fringes because all you do is rotate it up, bring it all the way down, especially if you have quite thick, um, heavy kind of fringe and it never really sits properly if you use a hair dryer, this really um, does work on those kind of things. But I really love it for bangs and pretty much everybody but my own bangs because my own bangs are very annoying and I have this kind of cowlick here and uh, it's just very annoying. So I'm just going to start working on them. I might have them falling slightly to this side for now. The most important thing is whenever you use heat on your hair, if you like the style that the heat has given you, don't touch it. Because if I start messing with this now, I'm going to put it into a position that I don't want it to be. I want it to go slightly like this, so I'm going to leave it until it kind of goes a little bit cooler and then I can start kind of moving and messing with it a little bit. So I'm just going to leave that for now. So that's everything. I've just added a little bit of hairspray, obviously did my makeup. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm Shinny Kitty and thank you for watching.